Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I was just starting a reading collective for Divine Feminine and my microphone wasn't on. So of course there was no sound. <laughs> my bad. This is Earth Angel 111 and we're going to hop into a weekend reading for Divine Feminine. I'm going to restart it, but I am going to start with the two cards that were out because this is someone's message, y'all. First card I had out was the star. You guys are stepping into some serious divine energy into the spotlight. So get ready, man. It's time for you guys to get out your best set of lashes. Get a new hairstyle if you need to. Do whatever it is you got to do to make yourself feel good because all eyes are on you. It's something you're doing. Ace of Wands was the next one out. Something you're passionate about. You might not think you're making much movement right now. Maybe the progress seems really slow. But it's like the people that are watching you are big time. And they see you. Knight of Wands could be a fire sign watching you guys. Definitely could be someone who's a couple years younger than you. But has a lot of influence in whatever this is you're passionate about. So for some of you guys, this is a creative hobby. For others of you guys, this is your career. Something you are doing and you have made it into your passion or into something that's going to be your moneymaker, y'all. It's going to be something that brings in profits for you guys. But it's like you guys start whatever this is as a passion, as a hobby. High Priestess in reverse. A lot of you guys don't see this coming. Some of you guys aren't listening to your intuition as well at this time. It's like yelling at you. It's screaming at y'all. There's a direction that you're supposed to take and you may not be going that way so far. Four of Pentacles. So... There's something at this moment in time that you're actually holding yourself back by, by not doing. So for some of you guys, it's like you're afraid to do something to really put yourselves out there. That final step, that's the victory. Like the scariness is what's going to bring in the huge, amazing beginning for you guys. So at this time, it's like you can't be afraid to jump through hurdles. And most importantly, you can't be afraid to bet on yourself. I don't know who needs to hear that. But some of you guys can't be afraid of the competition. You can't be sitting back thinking, well, they do it better. No, block out what anyone else is doing right now. Spirit says you have a vision and you're meant to follow that. And that's what's going to lead your success. So for some of you guys, four of pentacles, you could be feeling in a lack mindset, kind of feeling like things just aren't going how they're supposed to. You need to give in to God. Ten of wands in reverse. A lot of you guys are blocking something in your life. I feel like a lot of you guys are just not putting up with love right now too. For some of you, it's a good move. Spirit's saying, you know, there could be someone around you who doesn't want to see you reach up that next level. This could be someone who is playing it as a love interest. So just be aware of people's motives at this time. I think a lot of you guys, Divine Feminine, have really figured out that on your way to your Ten of Pentacles, there's going to be a lot of people who try to stop you. And if they figure out they can't just stop you by regular ways, by social media attacks, by things that are ridiculous, they're going to go out of their way to think of new ways to block you. So for some of you guys, this could be a fake lover that came in to be a distraction, to break your heart, to get you off your path. So just something you got to remember, right? A lot of you guys, if you went through that in the past where you felt 10 of wands in reverse, 10 of pentacles upright, totally imbalanced from a love situation, maybe someone had you feeling like there was a lot of competition, like you weren't good enough. Spirit says this all happened because you leveled up into this energy now where you know your worth like you could have kind of tiptoed in the past like is this person into me am I really good enough for them and now you've come into this new confidence about yourself that you're like you know what you were never the problem and you weren't like you guys need that confirmation you were never the problem it was this person wanting to make you feel like you needed to chase them some of you guys, this was a power play on their move. They thought if they ignored you or put you in competitions with other people, you'd want them even harder. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you walked away as you were divinely led to. And God really just showed you that you were good enough the whole time. And this person knew it too. I feel like this person literally made you guys level up into some divine energy beautiful you guys eight of pentacles so a small blessing is about to come in it might not quite be what you've expected so spirit's saying don't get disappointed but it's working towards what you want right so it's almost there 
Ten of Pentacles is at the end of this uh, energy, though. So you really got a new... No, all your wish fulfillment, all your happiness, that family love life you want, that career, everything's going to come, but it's in due time. Some of you guys have really had to make changes in your own personal life to reach those goals. I feel like a lot of you guys are really learning how to say no to people, how to not be a people pleaser. And most importantly, when it comes to your careers, your jobs, saying no when you know that someone's asking you to do something that is beyond you. For example, you could be in a position where you're getting paid not for jobs you're doing, right? You're making minimum wage, you're making low salary, and you could be doing the work of a manager or you could be doing the work of someone more higher up right so a lot of you guys are kind of learning how not to be that pushover and saying no and that not only relates to relationships but career as well now being able to not say no and to move forward some people could have guilted you in the past making you feel like well there's someone else you know say it's a company within the company that will do it or that you're not going to have as much hours money salary whatever this is for not helping them this was all an illusion to block your path notice how it's all in reverse people see how hard working you are a lot of you guys i think you're gonna take something that you've done in your life and turn this into a hobby in order to get away from people that are trying to block your success so you guys will know how it fits for you guys but just know if the pentacles or if the blessings that are coming in seem a lot less than what you expected from divine good things take time baby doesn't happen overnight and if it did then what would be the fun in trying so hard right so divine feminine just keep your chins up y'all i feel like you guys are going to receive some news though within the next 48 hours from when you see this could be an email could be a contract could be even just a bonus for some of you guys you're going to be asked to change your shifts could be some um more hours going on in there where previously there was not and for a lot of you guys, when you stand your ground and you learn not to be a people pleaser so much, that's when people really start to respect you and the blessings come in tenfold, baby. So look at that. If you stood your ground previously and said no to people, places and things that did not serve your best interest, those people, places and things are now realizing put some respect on collective's name. Can I get an amen? <laughs> the moon at the bottom. You guys could be a Pisces for signs. I've got a lot of fire energy, earth energy, Pisces here and Aquarius. So you could resonate with any of those signs. But hey, it is a collective reading. So if the sign doesn't fit, but you know the energy, energy does, I mean, of course, it's going to be your story. The moon... So there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes right now you not, might not be aware of. Some of you guys, you're being scouted right now big time. So like if you have a small following, but you put your heart and your passion and your soul into something, just know that the right people are about to stumble upon it. This is the work of divine because you were a star. A lot of people, I think, in your surroundings as well, didn't want to see you come out of this energy that you used to be in and transform into who you're meant to be. And so if you felt a lack of support from those around you, God sending you in the people that are going to support you, like your soul tribe. And a lot of you guys, it's because people didn't want you to step up into this divine feminine energy that you're embodying. For a lot of you, when you learn to realize your worth and say no to things that don't serve you, instantly you're going to have a glow up. Instantly you're going to have a huge awakening in your life. And for a lot of you, you've already gone through this. People around you see it before you've even seen it. People around you that try and block you from being a star, it's because they know that you're meant to achieve big things. Anyone that's actually working to achieve big things would never try to block the success of someone else unless they viewed them as someone who is going to outshine them, right? And on our collective, we praise everyone. You know, I feel like for some of you guys, it's almost like people didn't want to see you having two things going on. So, for example, you could have a full time job and you could have a passion hobby on the side that you're trying to invest in yourself for. For others of you, you could do two things. I just keep hearing the number two. So you could really resonate possibly with two, two, two. You could also have been born on the second or for others of you, you could have been born in February. Look at that. I split the deck. Six of Wands in reverse. What was I just saying about them blocking that energy, Divine Feminine? Yeah, so if you feel like things are being held back, 
and you know you've been working through and through and things should be better it's all because divine doesn't want to give you these blessings while the wrong people are in your life to suck them away from you so just be aware of that energy a lot of you guys are going to have to learn to say no to people, to walk away from people that don't serve you. And most importantly, just how to stand your boundaries with the people that try to make you feel less than. And that's when all these blessings are going to come in. So let's see if we can get some messages for you guys. All right. They show you off to their friends. So you guys, this could be someone you're crushing on. For others of you, this is literally who's watching you right now. There could be some people, places, things. We've got that Knight of Wands energy, right? Could be a fire sign, someone with higher up energy than you. This person knows and sees you. They see that you're a star. They see as well that like, why is it taking you so long to come up? So for some of you guys, you could have been working on a craft for many of years. The reason it's taking so long is because there are all these people trying to block your success. For some of you guys, this was an emperor there. Um, could be an um, a Aries, Libra, or Taurus, but it doesn't have to resonate. Otherwise, you could be one of those signs as well. But yeah, it's just all about the decisions you made as well. Like sometimes when you collaborate, it could have been with the wrong person. Could have been with someone who used you as a stepping stone in order to achieve success, but then tried to kick your name down. So you'll know if that resonates for you guys. Who did that to you guys? But yeah, whoever you're dealing with, it's like this person sees you're a star. They show you off a lot to people. They could be showing off your work as well. Wow, it says they know you know the truth about them. So for some of you guys, this person knows that you know that they were trying to block your shine, whether this was someone you worked with, whether this is someone that's an acquaintance of you. Um, this person could be a complete stranger as well. It's almost like someone tried to make themselves relevant in your story. And if this is someone of status, you could have them like, what? Like, how does collective know? So for some of you guys, you could be intuitive. You could have been really actually meant to isolate in order to figure out this situation or where to go next. And for a lot of you guys, you could just be homebodies, right? You could know not to say yes to certain people when it comes to the invites out because you know their intentions aren't there. I feel like a lot of you guys, when you step into this divine purpose, you start to realize when people are stressed out, they try to drain your energy. They try to block your success. Wow. So whoever this is that sees everything about you, they want to surprise you guys big. Woo! So they're talking to their friends possibly too about how they can do this, you guys. A lot of you guys, they're looking for a way to bring the two of you together because this person could be like highly attracted to divine feminine. So while you're sitting up looking pretty, working on yourself, possibly like kind of being a homebody right now, someone's keeping tabs on you. This person seriously wants to surprise you. They love everything about you. I feel like some of you guys, this could be a group collaboration. You guys could be being asked to join a group. This could be possibly four or five other people. Um, so for some of you guys, this is going to be at your workplace. You're going to be asked to join a group of like elite employees or people that are part of a salary team. For others of you guys, you are going to be asked to be part of something that's going to put you in the spotlight for the whole freaking world to see. Spirit says, are you ready? I feel like you guys are ready for it, but just make sure. Wow. These just came out again. Yeah. So definitely whoever I'm thinking about. Um, for you guys picking up on this collective energy, this person is definitely showing you off. So this weekend, for the energy for you guys, you're being asked to don't be afraid what anyone thinks. Do what you got to do to make yourself feel top notch, although I'm sure you already are. <laughs> and just know that this person's going to come in with an offer. So yeah, make sure you're sitting looking pretty, not stressed out, and most importantly, confident. That's what you need to be. I feel like a lot of you in the past could have been around a group of people that tried to make you feel less than. That's because they know that this offer is coming in for you. Woo! So for some of you guys, like if you're surrounded by people that try to constantly make it seem like you're annoying, you're the problem, you're the one doing something wrong, and you know that that's not the case, it's because they wanted to block you from having this amazing opportunity. And if it is in the spotlight, what are people going to say to block that? Of course that you're difficult, that no one wants to work with you or whatever this could be. Because they know that once these people or this elite group or this person came into contact with you, 
that's it contracts will be signed and so i feel like a lot of these people in the past could even be people who are trying to do the same thing as you wondered why you were getting this ten of pentacles you were getting this opportunity and they wanted to block it a lot of you guys need to realize though the reason why you're getting this opportunity from divine is because you worked so hard behind the scenes and that's what no one saw no one saw the days when you wanted to go out with your friends and you chose to stay in and work on that whether that was a project, whether that was a business idea, whether that was music, whether that was a book. Some of you guys are writing a book right now and people could be like, why is it taking so long? Or why do you never come out anymore? One of my favorite things to let people know and like quote right too is if you're not willing to put like six months to a year work in for your whole life to change, it's never going to change. And a lot of you divine feminines are on that path currently. And that's where you've decided no longer to be like the pick me that everyone wants. And a lot of people could be offended by it. But the truth of the matter is when it comes to you guys, you know that your life's only going to change when you decide to make it change. And that's where divine has opened up your eyes to using your intuition instead of blocking it. So a lot of you guys are just learning really how to listen to yourself and to block out all the noise of the people around you. Because when people don't want to see you win, they're going to do anything they can to make you feel less than. And you guys are meant to lift people up. So a lot of you guys... If you are resonate with divine feminine who's been through something serious in your life, you could possibly become a motivational speaker for going through those trials and tribulations, those traumas. Some of you guys, it could really be some heavy topics. And um, spirit says that that's what you're meant to do. You're going to lead people out of some type of PTSD even for some of you guys you're going to give people hope again at the end of the day and that's why it's like you need to keep going don't let anyone try to take these wands away from you a lot of you guys it's like people are fighting to have a piece of your pie as well you could feel like you don't even have the full pie yet you've got a little slice and you're like where are all these ants coming from trying to take this pie guard it with your life y'all and that's my message for you guys divine feminine just know that you're gonna really start to see some good progress and you just gotta keep moving forward so thank you so much for watching i hope this resonated please go ahead like subscribe to your girl this is earth angel 111 have a great weekend bye